Can I start selling on Amazon FBA with little or no money? Well, this is the most popular question that I got on my social media platform comment box or in my inbox as well. So that means there are a lot of people who are thinking to start their online selling business on Amazon FBA, but they are having very little money in their pocket. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining you step by step that if you can start selling on Amazon with little money or no. And if yes, then how you can do it, how you can minimize the budget, how you can design your budget sheet, how much order quantity you have to decide and how much marketing budget you need to sustain. So once your product starts selling and you get the money rolling in your account, then you can just reinvest that money to purchase more inventory and to do more advertising. So all this strategy to start selling on Amazon with low budget, I'm going to be revealing you in this video step by step. So keep on watching this video till the end. But before getting started, I'm Uzair and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave your 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. All right, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon.com right now. So before you start searching for any product, if you are having a low budget in your pocket, you need to understand two things. Like if you are having low budget, let's say $1,000 or $2,000 and you still want to sell on Amazon, then you need to keep two things in mind. Like your product must not be too heavy. Like it must be a small and light product. And number two, your product must not cost too much. Like the selling price of that product must be under $10. So the sourcing price of that product must be like $1 or $2. So for example, if you source a product under $1, less than $1. And if you add the shipping, so that product costs you around $2. So if you order 200 units of that product, so you have to invest only 200 or 250 dollars to purchase your inventory. So start with small inventory, just purchase 200 or 300 units initially to test the product and when you see that product starts selling in, then you can just order more inventory. So the rule number one is find a product that is having a small and light in weight and that is having a selling price around or less than $10. So right now the product which is coming in my mind fulfilling that criteria is tongue scraper. So let's type for tongue scraper. By the way, this product is too much competitive right now, having too many old sellers with having a lot of reviews. So this product is not worth launching today, but I'm showing you this product just to explain like how you have to select your product if you're having low budget in your pocket. So you can see that this product is a tongue scrapper and you can see the selling price of this product is under $10. Like this seller is selling for $9.99, this seller is selling for $6.99, again $6.79 and if we go down. So we can see that all sellers are selling around or less than $10. You can see that $9, $5, $8, $5. Okay. So you can see that this product is selling around $10 and by the nature, this product looks very small and light. So we can just open this listing as well. You can see that this person is selling pack of two tongue scrapper, but still the weight is very low and the selling price is also very low. So if we go to that listing and if we go down, so we have to see the weight and dimension of the packaging. And if you go down, we can see that the weight is 3 ounce, 3 ounces and the dimension is 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 0 0.67 inches. So which is like this uh, much small box. So if the product is very light in weight and very small in dimension and selling under $10. So that means the purchase cost of this product will be very low. So now we have to go on Alibaba and we can just type the name of this product tongue scrapper and here we can see the landing cost or the purchasing price of this product so we have to go down and we have to find a similar one uh, this one so as you can see here this seller is selling the same product to us and they are saying that if we purchase thousand sets from them so they can give us up to 0 0.56 dollar for one scrapper so let's suppose we will sell pack of one and we will purchase uh, initially 250 scrapper so if i put number 250 here uh, we want silver so let's put 250 here and when I click on enter, you can see on the right side that $147 will be the cost of 250 sets of tongue scraper and $140 will be the shipping cost. So the total cost I have to pay is $287 and you can see that the processing time is 7 days. So if I pay this supplier $287, then after 7 days, the goods will be ready to ship and I have to only pay $287 and after paying that, the 250 units of tongue scrapper will be picked, packed and shipped to my Amazon warehouse. So after spending only 287 dollars, 
250 units of my product is at Amazon FBA warehouse. So let's suppose you start with a budget of $1,000 or maybe $2,000. So in such a lower amount of money, you have your product already in Amazon warehouse. Now, what are the other expenses? So for that, you need to open Amazon FBA calculator. You have to go on Google and type FBA calculator. And by clicking on first link, you will be land on this page. So here you need to put the ASIN of your competitor to know the FBA and Amazon selling fee. So again, go back to competitor, copy their ASIN, and then again, go here, paste that ASIN, click on search, and then type the selling price you want to sell. So if we are selling at 9.99, so we can do a roughly calculation here. So if we get 250 units in 287.66 dollars, so 287.66 divided by 250. So 1.15 dollar is cost of one unit. So we can just paste 1.15 here. And when we click on calculate, Amazon is telling us that Amazon will charge only $0.8 selling fee and Amazon will charge $2.92 for shipping and warehouse fee. So that will be a total of $3.5. So $3.5 we have to give Amazon and we have to give after we get a sale and $1.15 we have to give to supplier. So at the end, $5.11 will be our profit, which is 51.15% of our total cost. So let's suppose we subtract $1 or $1.5 for PPC marketing or advertising, then still we will get a $3.5 profit on one unit. And then the last step is PPC. In PPC, you need to find out all those keywords which are having very low bids because when you start running your PPC campaign and you start putting keywords on it, you can see that Amazon will recommend you the bid. So if Amazon is recommending the bid for more than $1 for any keyword, so you have to leave that keyword, you have to go for only those keywords which are having bids lower than $1, like $0.5 or $0.6 or maybe $0.8. So in that way, you can just target all those keywords which are having low bids. So by spending less amount of money, you can get more and more sales on Amazon PPC. So by doing this by following all these three steps you can start selling your amazon product with a very low investment in your pocket which can be even thousand dollars two thousand or maybe five thousand dollars so it's just a myth that you can start selling on amazon only when you have too much money in your pocket if you are having a good education about amazon if you're having good analytics skills so you can just start selling on Amazon today with very less amount of money. So I hope this video have cleared this question in your mind and now you can easily start selling your Amazon product with very low budget. So if this video helps you and you like my content, so make sure to subscribe my channel because I always bring these kind of videos to you. And if you wanted to ask any question from me related to Amazon or any e-commerce platform selling, then you can just ask in the comment box below or you can just schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me from the link in the description below so I can listen to your problem and give you solution. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.